what can I say about Bernard Hopkins that everybody doesn't already know? Um, he's a he's a uh, three time and two division world champion. He's obviously a future first ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, we all we all know him for different um, different obstacles that he's uh, that he's overcome. We've all know him for for the uh, the championship fights he's had over the years. Uh, we know him for having to defend his title 20 times and obviously solidifying uh, his place as one of the best middleweights in boxing history. Let me introduce to you uh, uh, with a record of 52 and 6, 32 knockouts out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, Bernard Hopkins. Thank you, Oscar, and uh, also Kelly. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited, as, as Oscar just mentioned, all the things that's going to be going on prior to a March night fight. Um, they also um, running shuttle buses. Also, I heard um, Philadelphia radios been been commercials been been talking about it, and you know I've been hearing it here and there, and uh, it's good that a lot of people in Philadelphia, and Jersey, and Delaware, where I've been at for about 11 years, maybe 12, is going to be able to you know get on a bus and 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 go and and and, and enjoy a, a historic night in, at the Barclays Center, which which uh, HBO I believe first telecast fight. Uh, show will be will be there, so I'm glad to um, to break them in and 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 get them an opportunity to to witness something uh, uh, at the Barclays Center. It's my first time fighting there, and uh, I believe this is HBO first time broadcasting. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. And our next question comes from Dan Raphael with ESPN. Thank you. Hello, uh, Oscar. Hi, Bernard. Hey, Dan. Uh, Bernard. We've been down this road many times where you've been the underdog in fights before. Um, I know you just had your 48th birthday, so happy birthday to you. So I want to know from you uh, what makes you think this time you're going to pull the upset yet again. Um, I'm, I know I'm the better fighter. I know I'm the better uh, IQ fighter and also um, the better condition fighter. Um, I, I believe that when I go in that ring and, and Cloud is thinking something else, um, uh, he's going to be very, very surprised. I mean, it's natural. I mean, he's... Early 30s, I believe, late 20s, fighting someone that's almost double his age. I mean, it's it's natural. It's natural um, that a person will say, "Well, hey, man, this this, this you know this, this this ain't gonna happen to me." You know, he's a couple of years, a couple of younger than uh, younger than my father or mother. So, so that that is is a reality of numbers. Yes, you can't you know you can't mess with that. But then when he stepped in there, I think that's when. Uh, matter of fact, and I think, I think, I, I believe that's what I know that he's going to have to go ahead and adjust mentally and then adjust, adjust physically, and that's when a fight really begins. I mean, this ain't the first time a fight ever froze up like that in the ring when you start seeing something a little different than than what he was speaking about prior to the fight. So I, I'm I'm very motivated for this fight for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, I know I'm not fighting his promoter, but at the end of the day, we had a we had a <laughs> Uh, that my career was based on beating, uh, uh, I can say rival now, not even a rival, but somebody that, that to me personally was somebody that played a, a real, real uh, uh, importance of my legacy, um, good or bad. But uh, I'm glad to be able to reunite, and, and, and I think it was eight, nine years ago, to be able to go ahead and get rid of the last guy that he has. Okay, now at this time we're going to transition over to the Tavares Cloud a segment portion of this conference call. And to make the introductions for Team Cloud, I am so delighted to be able to introduce Mr. Don King, president of Don King Productions. Mr. King? Uh, thank you. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's indeed a pleasure for me to join the call of history in the making, you know, and I'm very delighted to... Uh, I've listened to uh, some of uh, uh, the comments that Mr. Hopkins made. I thought he was just par excellent. I think it's really wonderful that he's had such a unique, grand, wonderful career. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing him in uh, in the Barclays Center uh, on March the 9th. And, uh, and bringing with me will be the guy that we are about to introduce to you. I think he's the mini Tyson. You're going to see something that uh, that many have looked for in the – uh, light heavyweight division, someone that comes to fight, as Bernard said, 
and is such a great fighter as the Bernard is, that will make this here such a more par excellent performance from this young man named uh, Tavoris Cloud. I think that Tavoris Cloud is going to be thunder and lightning, and it's going to be a, 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 a tremendous situation for everyone to see and bear witness to because Bernard is, a, is, is, is just a great fighter. There's nobody can take that away from him in his 27-year career. He's 48 years old. He's stepping up to the plate for your pleasure, viewing pleasure, and your edification of greatness in the making. Let me give you the world champion, Tavares Cloud. Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? I believe we're leaving next week, headed to New York uh, to start doing all the press conferences and stuff like that. But it's, it's been an excellent training camp. I uh, trained very hard over here, man. My new trainer, Abel Sanchez, we we connected great. Uh, and, and we just ready to fight. And our first question comes from Michael Coppinger with Ring TV. Hi, Kavaris. Um, you know, in Don Hopkins' last fight, he didn't look very good, and that's probably the worst he's looked in 10 years. You know, do you think he's right for the picking right now? Uh, I, I mean, he could be. Um, I, I have to play my hands far, and, and, and you know, but no, Hopkins, like, he's the most dangerous fighter in the world, you know. But he, he could be right for the picking. We'll, we'll know when, once he get hit a couple of times. Do you think you could become the first person to knock him out since Segundo, Segundo Mercado back in the 90s? I could. It's possible. It's highly possible. I, I, I did everything that I could possibly do to uh, get that get that type of victory. You know, nobody can guarantee knockouts. But... Uh, I can't guarantee a victory. I, I don't think any fighter can stay young forever, no no matter how hard they try. And uh, it's evident that he slowed down in the last couple of years. All right, everybody, thanks for joining in. And, again, we will be uh, sending out a fight week schedule very shortly. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Thank you.